We've had a lot of children come in. Thus far, 234 children have come through the CAC. And the most common age that we see is four years old. And a four-year-old cannot defend themselves. They can't speak up. They don't even know that it's wrong what's going on. So it's really important that we as community take this on because we should not leave it up to children. The Travers Bay Children's Advocacy Center has only been open a year and a half, but its work to stop child sexual abuse and help families recover is already having a huge impact on our community, even if there's still so much more work to do. When you have pedophiles, often it's common to have upwards to 300 victims for one pedophile before they are brought to justice. CAC Executive Director Brooke Nets says despite the shocking statistics and the horror stories we hear on the news, the fact is too many people are reluctant to step in when they suspect child abuse. Oftentimes people are more able to intervene when there's a shoplifter than if they're seeing a child being abused. You can't know. I mean, until something happens and you experience something, you really can't know what you would do. Clinical psychologist Amelia Siders says fear can keep an otherwise responsible person from taking action when they suspect child abuse. I think people are afraid. The closer people are to the abuse, the more fear of retaliation, reprisals, um, them being abused themselves or hurt as a result of telling somebody. But there's also another kind of fear. They don't want to disrupt the system and they're afraid of what could happen to them if they really push forward. Beyond that, there's the way we've been conditioned as a society to mind our own business. The myth that it's not their problem, that this is a personal thing that needs to be dealt with in the family, but we have to look at child abuse as a community problem and that every person is a citizen in this community to protect a child. Some people, when confronted with something truly shocking, cannot act. They freeze, but they can still help. Even if that person, you couldn't stop right then, and some people might not be able to intervene and go into that room and stop it, but if you can go and make a call to the authorities, to Child Protective Services, to police, and stop that, you're still protecting that child, and you're doing what you can do to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Despite the psychological reasoning, at the end of the day, one truth remains. There's lots of great explanations why but it doesn't excuse not protecting that child. I think it's just all of our job to protect children. They are all our kids. We want them, they're our future. We want them to grow up and be healthy, and strong, and do great things. And this is part of our job is to help them do that.